welcome to today's class so for today i'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut a symmetrical top now a symmetrical top could be rock on anything you could rock your symmetrical top on a trousers and you could also rock it on a skirt and also you could also make yours a symmetrical gown so if this is your first time of watching of coming to my channel please kindly subscribe click on that button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll be waiting right there down below at the comment section for every of your comments and every of your questions and i would love to see your outfits after watching this video okay so what are the basic measurements required for a symmetrical top we need our shoulder bust and our top length so my shoulder is 16 divided by 2 we have 8 inches so i want to cut my top and my sleeve together i want to cut the two of them together so i'm just going to add about four inches to it so i have plus four inches that is 12. note that you could cut yours differently you could cut your top then attach your sleeve to it then the bust measurement divided by four i have nine so because i'm working with a stretchy fabric i'm just going to add only one inch for my sewing allowance so for my top length plus one inch, I'm going to have 27 inches. So one advantage of this symmetrical top is that you, you are going to make use of one yard of fabric or one meter of fabric for those fabrics that have about 60 centimeter long. Okay, so you just need about one yard of fabric to make this simple top. So let's get started. So now let's move to the fabric. So this is the fabric I'm making use of. So the first thing I have to do, I folded my fabric into four. So the first thing I have to do is to mark, mark my shoulder measurement. We have 12 inches. So I think I would love to extend the sleeve length. I think I would love to extend it by adding just two inches to it. So I have 14 inches. I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to paint it as much as I can. So for my arm o measurements, I'm going to make it of 7 inches because the fabric is actually stretchy. So I'm going to make it of 7 inches. I'll be painting it so you guys could see it clearly. So I'm going to mark my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 10 inches. 10 inches so a symmetrical top is a top so i'm going to identify where i want my symmetrical shape to start from so for this top i'm going to make it of 14 inches for where my symmetrical shape will start from so this is the 14 inches i hope you guys can see it because i'm trying to paint it you could see my hand i'm trying to paint it as much as i can so you guys could see it clearly so this is where i have my 14 inches for my symmetrical shape so i'm going to connect this my bust line down to the 14 inches and also connect it to this arm o so you have something like this now this symmetrical shape you could want your symmetrical shape to come to the middle now if you want to have your symmetrical shape at the middle how you have to do is very easy from this 14 inches you draw a slanted line of course this is the center line this is the center line you draw a slant shape all the way to your top length you draw a slant shape all the way to your top length and that's going to give you a symmetrical shape at the middle so i'm going to mark my neckline my neckline i'm going to make it of three inches note that your neckline depends on what you actually want and for the deepness i'm going to make it of four inches okay so is a round neckline this top is as easy as a b and c and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel drop your questions down below at the comment section and i'll be right there to answer every of your questions so i said for you to get your symmetrical shape at the middle 
from this 14 inches note that this 14 inches depends on where you want your own symmetrical shape to start from so you're just going to draw a slant line down to the top length so it's going to come towards the middle you're going to have your symmetrical shape towards the middle so i think this middle symmetrical shape is actually very easy so i'm going to cut this out i'm going to separate this fabric in order to show you guys how to get a symmetrical shape at one side so this is just how to get it for the middle it's very easy so i think the complex one is when you want to get it at one side and i'm going to explain it in this video so all i have to do now is to separate this fabric and also to explain how to get your symmetrical shape at the side so now i've opened it up now i said for you to this is our 14 inches this is the way our sleeve is going to look like and this is our neckline so i said for you to get this symmetrical shape at the middle of course i've explained that but for you to get the symmetrical shape at one side you're going to identify what side you want your symmetrical shape to fall so for me i want my symmetrical shape to fall towards this angle okay i've explained the middle one so for you to fall at one side i want it to fall at this side of my fabric note that you could make you could yours could fall towards this angle or you could fall towards this angle it depends so the first thing you have to take note of is this 14 inches I hope you can see this 14 inches. This 14 inches is where we identified where we want our symmetrical shape to come from. So from this 14 inches, I'm just going to draw a slant line. It's very easy. I'm just going to draw a slant line like this down to this point. So you're going to see it now. You're going to have this symmetrical shape at one side. Okay. So it is very easy. You could draw this top on your trousers you could wrap it on a skirt and why i really love this top is because it just takes one yard of fabric isn't that amazing ah huh? that's really amazing seriously so look at this now this is what we have as a symmetrical top so you could see the neckline you could see our uh, shoulder and our sleeve measurements and look at the symmetrical shape is coming towards the side look at the symmetrical shape is to coming towards the side so how you have to do is to have your neckline and you join it you join this point down you join this point to this area and you are going to leave here open because that's where you are actually going to wear it from so you can see that this top is very easy as a b and see so thanks for watching this video if you found this video very educative don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to this video kindly subscribe to my channel and please feel free to drop your questions down below at the comment section tell us topics you love us to treat and you are free to ask this any question based on this symmetrical top so i'd love to see you guys rock your symmetrical top and don't forget good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are bye